Nintendo is one of the most popular companies in the world, has a list of iconic and well-beloved games. But today, we'll be talking about Nintendo's best games. Number 1. Metroid Other M Metroid Other M is one of the best games in the Metroid series. Obviously, the graphics are super realistic for a Wii game. The controls are amazing. They really developed Samus in a very interesting and fun way. And it and the only complaint I have about this game is they try to make it too much like Halo. Okay. But other than that, this is easily the best of the Metroid franchise. You know. It, it's easily the best. It, it's super it's better than Super Metroid. Sorry, 90s kids. You know, it's better than Metroid Prime franchise. It's better than the first Metroid. And if you disagree with me, you're wrong. Number two, Sticker Style. Obviously, Sticker Style is the most important and vital game for the Paper Mario franchise. They find do the way with those awful RPG mechanics and those awful original characters that nobody liked and nobody had an attachment to and add a clown that talks to you. <clears throat> also, the characters are all very unique. They all appeared in other Mario games, which makes this game a masterpiece. It was also on the 3DS, which makes it the first Paper Mario game you could take on the go. Take that, Fowzy Adore. You can't, at least you can't play Fowzy Adore on the go. That's never going to be a possibility. I know, these people can rewind to the, the end of the day, like this guy who's a little sock puppet. But they have the wrong opinion, as this is the second best selling Paper Mario game of all time. And... Fazio Adore and Paper Mario are the worst selling Paper Mario games of all time because no one liked RPG of mechanics and Mario games. Number 3 Mario Strikers Battle League. It had the most amount of care, it had the most complete wants. The gameplay was relatively fun. And also they had Waluigi in the game. How dare they could not forget Waluigi. Um and yeah, it was a very fun and interesting game. They finally brought back Mario Strikers after so long. And people were just ungrateful. They really are ungrateful. Like, really? You expect there to be like 80 characters at once like Smash Bros. Ultimate? Like, seriously? You expect, you know, like, this crocodile dude said this is the worst Nintendo game ever? Really? It is? You gotta be freaking kidding me. Oh, this is easy the best Mario Strikers game. By wrong swap. Okay? I don't care if they removed all the quote unquote personality from the games. This game. But yeah, that's about this uh, entry. Uh, number four Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Easily the best Pokemon games ever made. If I have an open world Pokemon game, you know, you don't have to worry about, you know, having random encounters anymore. No one will miss that. Uh, the game was once perfectly fine with no glitches and no bugs. I just don't get why people hate these games so much. They, they were a step in the right direction for the Pokemon series. You know, the story was much better than every other Pokemon game preceding it. There was only 400 Pokemon at once and overpriced DLC that nobody liked. But, oh, all right, the DLC was perfect. I don't get the complaints for it. Okay, who cares if, you, if, if the DLC will become lost media? Because people are just whine and find every way to complain about the new Pokemon games. Because they're so ungrateful and there's so much a bunch of whiny people. You know, who cares if they're $60? These Pokemon games are truly the best Pokemon games ever made. If you disagree with me, you're wrong. Number 5. Wait, wait, wait. We did number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4. Uh, Yeah, number 5. Number 5. Number 5. Pokemon Go, of course, easily one of the best Pokemon games ever made. Okay, take that Pokemon uh, Gen 4 fans when they say Hot Gold was one of the best games in the series. You can play Pokemon on your phone now. What's not to love? Okay, you can't battle wild Pokemon that, you know, uh, is a staple of the games. Oh, but you, can, but, you, but you oh, you have to buy Pokeballs if you run out. Oh, yeah. Or you have to walk to like some random location. And bug, you know, you know, pay, you know, you have to walk to some random location. They, you know, oh, but you get more things for Pokemon Go. Okay, you have a limit to how much Pokemon you can catch with. It? In the actual games, you can catch hundreds of Pokemon. Oh, yeah, and you have to pay more to buy them. Nope. You, you just have the wrong opinion. 
Pokemon Go is clearly the best and most important step in the Pokemon franchise. It introduced Pokemon to millions of people who have never played Pokemon before. And if you don't like Pokemon Go, then there's something wrong with you. Number six. I don't get hate why people hate uh, Nintendo's foray into mobile games. Mario Kart Tour is easily the best entry in the Mario Kart franchise. If this is agree with me, you're wrong, obviously. You know, Mario Kart, you know, Tour. Obviously one of the most important games in the Mario Kart franchise. Okay, you know, obviously a very important game. You can finally play Mario Kart on your phone. Okay, it had the most Mario characters in Mario Kart history. Oh, you, you had to pay for the characters, but... But you don't want to be a scrubby pirate and pirate Mario Kart Tour DLC. Do you want to really be that low and pirate Mario Kart DLC? Yeah, you really, you really suck if you, if you really bypass having to pay hundreds of dollars if you want to play Mario, but he's wearing uh, a different suit or a different color Yoshi. Yeah, you really are ungrateful if you do not like this game. You really do not appreciate Nintendo at the best. Number eight. Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. The best Mario Party game we have never got really gotten. Okay, who cares if there's no mini games? Who cares if you can't afford Amiibos? Well, I'm sorry. You're too poor to afford $12 Amiibos. You know, like, they're everywhere. Okay, you know, I, the complaints are invalid. Okay, you should have fun playing games, not complain and bitch and moan about Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. Why hasn't Nintendo made a sequel to this? This is easily one of the most important and best games ever made. Obviously, it's just you have a bad taste in games if you don't like it. Like, how can you hate Animal Crossing? It's one of the most innocent IPs out there. The characters are so so adorable and fun, and you're just gonna hate on this game for no reason. Yeah, you really you really must suck if you hate this game. Uh, number nine, a uh, Hotel Mario. Oh my god, Hotel Mario is easily the most underrated Mario masterpiece ever. The memes are so funny. The gameplay, you open doors, but they have Mar but no one complains about the Mario Party mini game when you do that. Like, it's so unfair how they treat this game because it wasn't developed by Nintendo. But they'll, but they'll openly play stuff like Fowls in Your Door, like... How many copies did Fowls in Your Door sell? Like, one million copies of my like... You guys are just too harsh on the CDI games. Like, come on. Okay, like, they're easily some of the best and most important games in Radmark history. We, uh, let's get to number 10. Zelda Wanda Gamwon. Of course, it brought us iconic characters like the King, CDI Ganon, Swarawa Guy, and Morsu. I can't forget why, I can't forget watching the video where Morsu recites the entire Bible, a truly important and stunning piece on wine. Why hasn't Nintendo maybe made these Zelda CDI games? They're some, they're some of the, they have some, they're some of the funniest games in the Zelda franchise. Size. Also, the gameplay is, you know, it's pretty fun. Uh, you know, it, the gameplay is pretty fun. You know, the characters are pretty fun. It's a pretty fun game. I don't. Just, why do people not hate? Why do people hate this game so much? Uh. Yeah, we're done. April Fools, guys. I don't actually like any of these games. <laughs> That's the joke. April Fools, guys. I, I you know, if you watch the whole video, or if you just saw the upload date, you'll know this video is April Fools. Goodbye.